Hi, and welcome to Fairy's Food World. Today we're going to be making almond flour chocolate chip cookies. Let's get started. We're going to be using one and a quarter cup of almond flour, which is sifted already, one third cup of chocolate chips, little less than half cup of maple syrup. You could use honey here if you would like, quarter cup of almond butter. I am using homemade. If you would like to see the recipe, I can put the link in the description. You can go check it out. You could also use peanut butter or any nut butter of your choice. I have one teaspoon of vanilla powder. You can definitely use vanilla extract. Half teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of sea salt. That is optional. I like it in my cookies. In a bowl, let's start adding our ingredients. Almond flour, salt, baking powder, and vanilla powder. Let's give it a mix. Very quick to put together. Next goes in the maple syrup, one third of a cup maple syrup that we're starting off with. And if we need, we can add more. Next, our almond butter. These are delicious. Once you make them, you'll make them over and over again. Once we have everything well combined, going to add the chocolate chips. If you don't like chocolate chips, you can add any nuts of your choice. Walnuts will go great with this. You can try almonds, pecans would be nice too. Once it's all mixed, I'm going to place this in the fridge for about 30 minutes. It's been 25 minutes since I had my cookie batter in the fridge. I'm taking a cookie scoop so that all the cookies will be even. So the batter will give you roughly nine to 10 cookies. Now, this, since the mixture is really sticky, I'm taking a piece of parchment paper. You can use the back of a spoon and gently press on it to give it a cookie shape. and our almond flour cookies are all ready. They are crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside. I had them in the oven for nine to 10 minutes, but if you go more than that, from 10 to 12 minutes, they'll be more crispy. I hope you give this recipe a try. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like what you see, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you have not. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.